How does becoming a better bowler help you become a better business principal? Well, for this video, I'm going to give you the kingpin illustration or the kingpin principle that once you understand it, you will not only increase your bowling game, but you will increase the outcomes of your business. Here we go. Now, I first discovered this principle by accident, and I didn't even know that I found it until I actually came across this principle a couple of days ago, and it made so much sense. So I'm going to share with you what I've learned about bowling and how that relates to business right now. Now, during my early 20s, me and a group of friends, we used to go bowling every Friday. And eventually, well, when we first started, let's say we was averaging around 80, 90, 110. Some of us stuck at 88. <laughs> but 110, 120, slowly we got better, but only because we were consistent. We were showing up every Friday. But eventually, my high score, my high score got to 277. And I'll show you why. Now, one thing about me is I love to learn, I love to study, I love to teach. So before we would go bowling, I would actually turn on PBA Bowling to watch the pros do it, to study how they would do it, to figure out what were they doing differently that I could use to improve my game. Now, this is where the king pin principle come into play. So what changed? Well, I noticed that even though me and the professional bowlers all had the same goal, the same outcome, we wanted the same output, which was to knock down all 10 pins. So this was the, let's say this was the outcome. Or let's say this was the output, right? This was the goal, is a strike, to knock down all 10 pins. We had the same output, we had the same goal, but our inputs was a lot different. What I mean by inputs? Inputs is the system. Input is the same thing as your system. So now that I'm watching them and I'm beginning to watch them bowl, I'm beginning to watch how they line up on that little foul line. I'm beginning to watch how they hold the bowling ball. And I'm like, okay, I, I do the same thing. I stand to the line. I got my ball in my hand. I'm lining myself up. I'm doing my little Fred Flintstone, pulling back and boom, tossing it. Not always a strike every time because my vision was only up here. I was only focused on the output. I was only focused on the goal. Well, a professional, they don't only just focus on the output or the goal, they focus on the input, they focus on the systems. So as I begin to look a little closer, I'm like, okay, they are using the little dots that's on the bowling lane. Now, I've never used these dots, I've never even noticed these dots, I would just notice them all my pins. So I begin to figure out, okay, how could I change my input, how can I use a different system to get a different output? So this is what I learned. I learned that if I was to put my ball at a certain spot in the beginning, then the outcome, the output of what I want would come true. What I mean by that, that in bowling, the objective is not to hit all the pins. It's to hit the one that knocks the other ones down. It starts the domino effect. It starts the avalanche. See, I noticed that the professionals uh, they would use the arrows on, their, on the lane to line up their shot. They knew that if they put the ball in a certain place with a certain spin and hit that main pin, it starts the domino effect. They were so good at executing just this simple input that the output or the outcome was almost guaranteed, if you ever watch them. So this taught me a very valuable lesson, that you don't need to try to knock down all the pins. That's not the goal to knock down all the pins. The goal is to knock down the first pin and then have that first pin knock down the rest of them. So instead of me focusing on hitting all the pins, I focused on hitting my dots in the correct place. You see what I'm saying? Changing up my system. My first system was grab the ball and go. Just, 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 just throw it as, as hard as possible. You know, launch it. You know, get the 14 ball heavy, launch it. Now I say, ah, it's not, I couldn't control that. It's not good just to go with extra force. You know, I couldn't use the 14 ball. I think I broke with an 11 ball, something that I could control, something that was easy for me to manipulate the ball spin, the timing, and the placement where I was able to put those balls down, right? So I worked on this one input. I worked on my system over and over and over again. All I would do was come up and say, okay, I knew that if I spun my ball a certain way, now there's three, let me uh, get the marker. This is for you 
advanced bowlers. So if we go in bowling next week, thank me. <laughs> there are three places that you can line up. I mean, it's more than three places, but I just say three for the sake of this conversation. You can line up on the middle, left or right side. My ball usually curves to the right, so I don't need these, right? You got to know what you're doing. We got to play the system. I knew that if I line up on the left side, and if we're going to follow the, tra the trajectory, all right, we're going to follow it. If I line up on the left side and I threw my bowling ball and I hit the left side of this pin, the right side of that pin, and not the middle, this little angle right here with that correct spin, everything's gone. Everything's going down. All right. So I worked on this over and over and over until I knew that once that my ball left my hand and hit my spot, I knew the outcome was going to be. It's the same thing if you watch basketball and if you've ever seen Steph Curry play. Uh, when he's very, when he's in his zone, he'll shoot the shot and turn around before the shot even goes in because he felt it. He knew how his arm supposed to go up. He knew at what point he's supposed to release the ball. He worked on the systems. His goal wasn't just to make the shot. It was to get better with his systems. It's the same thing here. If you get better with your inputs, you get better with your systems, you get better at if I do step one and step two, I got an 80 to 90 percent chance of getting the output or getting the goal that I want. So what does this have to do with business? Well, your business can grow exponentially if you focus on the kingpin. If you focus on the one thing, here's the one thing that if you accomplish that, it'll knock down everything else. Don't focus on all this. Don't just focus on, I got to hit this system, that, I got to do all these other outputs and goals. Don't focus on all this. Focus on the one thing, the KP. What is your what is your kingpin? What is the kingpin right now that in your business this week for you to hit a different level? If you knock down that one kingpin, everything else will fall into place. Figure out that kingpin, and if it's executed efficiently and effectively, it will knock out the other issues within your business and take it to the next level. Now, if you don't have any systems that you're working with, and if you want my kingpin system, just comment kingpin below in the comments. I'll send you a report so you can figure out where to find your kingpin, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.